Hello everyone and welcome back to the series Basic Interfacing Components of 8085 Microprocessor. Today we are going to learn about decoder. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session. From the interfacing components of 8085, in the previous sessions we already have covered latch, tri-state buffer and the encoder. In this session we are going to cover the decoder. Now coming to decoder, we already have seen where it is used. If you remember in the organization of the 8085 microprocessor and the memory, within the memory we have got the address decoder. Now in the previous session we learned about the encoders, right? And if you remember I told you the encoders are used to reduce the number of lines in a digital circuit. Whereas Using decoder, we actually can increase the number of lines in a digital circuit. And that is what exactly is done using the address decoder. If you notice, in case of the address decoder, we have got 16 input lines, right? And using those 16 lines with the help of the address decoder, we get to access 64K memory locations. So clearly, the decoder is helping us increase the number of connections within this digital circuit. Now coming to decoder, it is a crucial component which is used to select and activate specific peripheral devices or memory locations based on the address signals provided by the microprocessor. Now if you remember when we were studying about the data transfer between the microprocessor and the memory, we learned that when the address latch enable output line was high, it used to state that the lower order address bus is active. And due to that, in both memory write and memory read sequence, we saw specific memory location was being selected. And it is pretty evident where did we get the address signals from? Well, it was given by the microprocessor, right? So clearly, the decoder is a crucial component which is used to select and activate specific peripheral devices or memory locations based on the address signals provided by the microprocessor. In simpler terms, it can be used to decoding of memory and input output devices. Basically, with the help of the decoder, from the provided signals through the address bus of the microprocessor, it is decoded whether the microprocessor is communicating with memory, to be precise, with a particular location within the memory, or whether it is communicating with the input output devices. Now consider this decoder, it is a 2x4 decoder. As you can see, it has got two address lines, A1 and A0. Now on the other side of the circuit, we have got four outputs. We can treat them as different memory locations. And notice, these are all active low output pins. Now you might be wondering, why in case of the inputs, that is the address lines, we don't have active low connections? Well, if you remember, the address bus of 8085 microprocessor is not active low. Following that, we are also having the same notations in this decoder. Now let me construct the truth table for it. Now in this 2x4 decoder, we have got two address lines as inputs. So with two address lines, how many bit sequences can be generated? Well, it is 4. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Now say for 0, 0, we will get to access the location connected with Y0. Now since it is active low, what should be the pattern for that? It is going to be 0, 0, 1. And how is so? Because Y0 is 0 and since it is active low, so this pattern indicates that the location connected with Y0 output pin is going to be selected and activated, whereas the rest of the locations which are connected with these output pins will be inactive. Similarly, for 0, 01, the pattern is going to be 1011. This 0 here will indicate for this particular address, 
we are about to access the location connected with the pin number Y1. Similarly, for 1, 0, the output pattern of the decoder is going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, indicating the memory location connected with Y2 pin will now be activated. Finally, with the address sequence 1, 1, in the output lines of this 2 to 4 decoder, we will achieve this pattern. That is, all of these pins will be inactive, only the memory location connected with Y3 output pin will be selected. So this is the truth table which will indicate for which address we will get to select which output line. And this is the logic behind the locations which will be accessed using these addresses. Now in case of 8085, the decoder 74LS138 is used. This is a 3 to 8 decoder. Notice here we have got 3 address lines as inputs and there are 8 active low outputs. We will learn about this integrated circuit in details in the chapter Chip Selection. So that is all about the interfacing component decoder. So in this session, from all the different interfacing components of 8085 microprocessor, we learnt about the last one, that is the decoder. Alright people, that will be all for this session. With this, we have come to an end of the theoretical portion of this chapter. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to solve some numerical problems based on memory and 8085 microprocessor. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.